Good morning. I am back with a little update on the Love 41 large duffel. So I've been using it pretty faithfully for a little bit here and I wanted, I would be remiss if I didn't share with you guys sort of things I've learned since I've been using it more, um, likes and dislikes, what have you. The first thing I'm going to say is I think it might be my most favorite work bag ever. Um, and here's why. So let me just, let me just show it to you. And it fits my work laptop in here and it just, there it is. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. It literally comes just underneath kind of the height of the zipper. So it's like the biggest laptop I think that you could probably have we're in. It still fits left to right and you can still close the zipper. Um, and so it's really, really nice as a work bag because usually I have giant totes. Um, and sometimes I use the Love 41 tote and I have a big car, a, a Jeep Cherokee. And so when I get in on the driver's side and I have my giant tote and it's stuffed to the brim with work stuff, I feel like it strains my back to sit on the driver's seat, take my tote off, put it on my lap and go across the thing like this um, and put it on the passenger seat. Um, just because the handles are long, et cetera, it's kind of a wobbly bag. And so what I find myself doing is I literally will put my coffee in the in the thing, put the keys on the driver's seat, get out, walk around the Jeep, open the door, and put my tote on the passenger seat. And it's not a big deal. I mean, we're literally talking about 45 seconds, but I feel like when you're in the thick of the morning rush, every second counts. And so having a bag that's compact like this, and it's, it's pretty stuff. You can see like I struggle a little to pick it up. Um, but just pull it, rolling into the driver's seat and being able to do this is such a nice convenience. Um, and then likewise, when I get out, I don't have to walk around, open it out of the driver's seat. The other thing I love about driving with this bag to work is with the tote, I don't ever put the tote, I try never to put my purses on the floor unless I have to. Um, and so my purse always rides obviously in the passenger seat. And with the tote, I struggle, right? Because if I have it upright so that my stuff doesn't get jumbled around, if I stop suddenly or take off suddenly, etc., my tote generally topples. So I um so most of the time it lays like this. And then on its side, and then when I get into the office, I may get upright and everything in there is a little bit jumbled. Um, but this one sits obviously upright and perfect, so it just it's such a nice, nice, nice work bag. And then some days, and I'm not, you know, there's some people that are like packed the night before and they're so perfect and everything's ready. I'm not like that. Like every morning it's kind of a mad scramble. My husband always goes, it's almost like you didn't know you were going to work today. And whatever. Some people have their act together. Some people don't. Um, but I'm in an age where I just embrace that that's the way that I am. Um, and so it's always a scramble. And so it's some days I get in the car and I'm like, gosh, did I bring my phone? And when I have a tote, I am driving and I'm sort of like reaching in here just to make sure like, oh, did you bring your phone? But when I have the, um, the duffel, it's so easy because you just look over and you can see it right here. And there's never any doubt that you brought your phone. Um, and then if it rings when you're driving, you can just pull it out, hit reject, throw it right back in. It's never this like, oh my gosh, I got to get it out of my bag and you're desperately trying to claw through your purse to get that phone out. Um, and then the other thing, and this is kind of, I don't know, I guess it's just one of those things that um, if you're a woman, you sort of think about this. So I'm at the office late a lot and I think our offices are in fairly safe locations, but you never know. And I love, love, love watching B horror movies. And so the downside to that is 90% um, of the time, the scene of the crime is the parking lot. So I'm always very hyper aware when I leave my office and it's dark and I'm the last one there. So what I do is I pull my keys out of my purse and I hang them with my buckle guy fish hook right here and it can fit in there even when the phone's in there. And it's just so nice because there's never this thought that I'll walk up to my car and be scrambling there in the dark um, looking for my keys so it just I feel for safety it's really nice like I walk across the parking lot and it's right there hanging off the exterior of my purse um and so it's just I don't know it's the perfect women's work bag and a lot of times I have I, when I used to carry 
a big giant bag with my laptop and then I put a lunch purse in there because the bag was so enormous that if I had a lunch meeting or wanted to go out for coffee, I didn't want to take that giant bag. Um, and that's not true with this one. It's just so compact and because you're not slinging it over your shoulder, it's an arm carry. It obviously has a crossbody, but I don't really use it to be honest. Um, and because it has this nice carry, I never have that thought. So if I go into, office, into the office and I have to go out to lunch, obviously my laptop's on my desk, and then I take this with me to lunch, and it's so, it's so easy. I don't really even need a lunch purse. Um, so that's what I absolutely am loving about this bag. I will say, um, one of the things that's a little challenge that I didn't think about when I told you, oh, I can fit my laptop in here, is, let me just pull my laptop out so we're all on the same page. So, and you can see I have a very narrow laptop. Um, and here's what I have in here, just like, miscellaneous stuff. I have glasses and a five pocket wallet, my now apparently essential, essential pouch because I never leave home without this thing. Um, I have the full cord and then I have this thing that my coworker bought me, which I think is so cute. Um, and it's an elephant, but ultimately it's obviously a recyclable grocery bag because I would always, we'd go to the store during lunch and um, I'd always say, oh, do you have a bag for me? And it's just something that I can keep with me always. It weighs nothing, a couple of ounces. Um, and it has this hang thing. So it's just nice. Then you're never having to pay that extra for the um, grocery bag. Anyways, I've gotten away from what I wanted to tell you, which is when I pull my laptop out, everything just sort of jumbles together. And so at the end of the day, when I'm ready to go home, I can't just take this and go like this because there's all kinds of the things have fallen in on themselves so what I really have to do realistically is take out like at least this shove the other things to the side and then put the laptop in um, and so I do just want to mention that um, in the interest of full disclosure there's a little baby step obviously you could say that by not carrying so many odds and ends right you just carry like a purse and I'm sorry a wallet instead of two and then realistically if you're going to have your home office, you don't always need to have your laptop cord. Um, but there is that baby step. But for me, that's a very, very small, easy trade-off to be able to have a really, really nice work purse that's easy on your back. Um, and the other thing I will say is I never have this down. I just don't. I never snap it um, because I feel like when I want to get in the bag, <laughs> It's so much easier if, if this, these are up. Um, I feel like you get to open the bag that much wider. And so I like that luxury. I'm not so concerned with these aren't snapped down and so the bag might look a tiny bit less sophisticated with it flopping, but that's, I don't care. To me, that's totally fine. Um, and then the other thing I will say is the bag stays pretty well like closed even without the zipper and so the reality is I never zip it unless I'm gonna be like out and about in public um, for like an extended period of time I just leave it like that and so access very easy um, phone and keys and I actually sort of got used to living with my keys on the outside even though maybe some people might say it looks a little clumsy but for me I think it's totally fine and the other thing I want to mention if you're gonna do this when you get your buckle, I actually got this for all my coworkers for their various purses. Nobody else has Love 41. Hopefully I'll change that one day. But, um, and the first couple ladies were like, hey, I can't get that over my leather because it looks like it's a small opening, but that's not true. When you put it on, you just have to sort of, sort of shove it against the back and then it slides on really well. So if you just try to hook it on, it probably won't go. You gotta push it against the back a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's just, it's just a really, really nice work bag. And obviously a nice weekend bag, just a nice purse in general, but I just want to share with you how I found myself using it. And the other thing, um, I'm gonna zip it up so I can show you this. I just want to do a little comparison in case you're on the fence about this bag. So if you're on the fence about this bag, this is, uh, this is Love 41, obviously, and the sister company. I don't know why I tried to do that, but I'm gonna do it now. You can't really put this on so I'll show you. You can't put it on unless you're pushing against it or, there's, or the bag is full. 
And since I just took my laptop out, the bag is relatively empty. But let me do this. And the bag is still pretty new for me, so you might see, like, oh, she's struggling. But to me, it's sort of wanted struggles because that means that these aren't going to come off. When they're on, they're on. So that's it down. Let's zip it up. And you can zip it either way with it up or down. Um, I wanted to show you something from their sister company. And this is Saddleback. And I picked this one because I thought, if you're in the market for this size purse, let me show you another purse from the same family. Um, so this is the sister company Saddleback, like I said. This is pretty close in size. This is the size small. Let me just do this. Um, they're very, very similar bags in terms of overall proportions. This is very old, this bag. Um, this is either the first or second piece I got from them, and it has, it has, you can tell it's old for a few reasons. One, the logo is different, and two, it's got still the additional D-rings, and three, it has a removable liner. Um, this bag, every time I pull it out of the closet, I'm like, dang, it's amazing. I don't know, to be honest, I have no idea why I don't use it. I just, I just haven't, in a, I just really never broke it in, I suppose, is the end of that, the end of that, um, sentence but I never did and I might I might start pulling it out again it's a really really nice bag but anyways let me just show you if you're on the fence because you're probably in the market for a particular size um this laptop can go in here the, it's a little easy obviously because you just it opens sort of like it's like a almost like a grocery bag the way it opens up but the tote the laptop can go in here but you can see and I'm just going to turn it for you the corners stick out a little because of this this action um, so it eliminates the use of the handles but I actually have taken this to work like this and you obviously have to use the um, you have to use the handles so there's that I can see my five-year-old hi angel um and then all of that stuff does fit in there but what you lose is a little bit of and I'll do this you can see you lose a little bit of depth in the bag and then you lose security um, and what you gain in exchange is easier access. The bag is sort of permanently open. And this one has a phone pocket. And I will say if you have a big phone, it probably won't fit. It exactly fits my Samsung Galaxy S7, which for today's phones is small. It also has a key fob. The key fob is very short. So you can see I extended it with two carabiners. And then this one has a pocket. So... This, this one has an interior zipped pocket as well. This one has like, their kind of Saddleback original toggle pocket, but it also has the phone and the key fob. So that's what's different on the inside. This one on the outside, no pockets. So if you're in the market for this size bag, I just wanted to show you the differences. To me, I think in addition to the bigger depth with the Love 41 bag, you get a little bit more versatility, right? Because this could easily be a work bag and it's got kind of a clean, sharp look to it. This one to me on the right, the style back, it's more of a, a weekend casual bag, but both are amazing. This is certainly heavier and it's got sort of a tougher leather to me. Um, whereas this one has more of a, um, almost like a suede feel to it, but obviously guaranteed for 41 years. So no issues with that. That is it. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed that little comparison and a little update on everything I've been absolutely adoring about my Love 41 large duffel. Thank you so much for watching.